All right, Shalom. I want to give all praise, glory, and honor to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rechachakodash. Double honors to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone who does lead and rule well. Salutations and Shalom to all you hopeful like I can pushing out this word in sincerity and in truth throughout the four corners of the earth. And sincere Shalom to you, also to you, Aki and Akwaf, listening and learning, preparing yourselves here in these last days. And to the entire household of faith, fighting this good fight of faith, I want to say Shalom. This is your brother Dequar from the DC camp, coming back at you with another lesson. And I'm entitled this one, Not Seeking My Own Profit, But the Profit of Many. And this was a part of uh, Paul's first, let, uh, first letters to the Corinthians, you know? And, um, and the way he lived, it was not seeking his own profit, you know, but the profit of many, which we got as an example from Yahweh Shah. All right. So, you know, we we are to be in that same mindset. You know, this is a part of uh, carrying your cross. As a matter of fact, let me start with this one. Then I'll get the scripture on the screen. All right. This is uh, Luke 9, verse 23. It says, and he said to them all. If any man will come after me, let him deny himself and take up his cross daily and follow me. Now, when you go into that word deny, right? Let me get that. It says, um, let me get in the Greek. Strong's G 533, Aparneomai. Aparneomai. A part Nehemiah. And it says to deny, to affirm that one has no acquaintance or connection with someone. Uh, this is the point. Ver uh, B, it says to forget one's self, lose sight of oneself and one's own interest. All right. Now, we're not losing sight of ourselves, <laughs> but we lose sight of our own interest. You know, because our interest or our our meat, as Yahweh Shah said, is to do the will of the Heavenly Father. And what is that? It's just to raise up, according to Luke the sixth chapter, right? Let me get that. I believe it's uh, or it's John six. Let me see. Forty. Yeah, it was John six. So, I, all right. This is uh, this is what you have a shot said. John six and verse. 38 it says i for i come for i came down from heaven not to do mine own will but the will of him that sent me and this is the father's will which have sent me that of all which he have given me i should lose nothing but should raise it up again at the last day and this is what we're doing we're here in the last days and and, and and our job our mission is to raise up our brethren you know those are the ones that the lord loves that's his will all right. It says, and this is the will of him that sent me, that everyone which seeth the son and believeth on him may have everlasting life. And I will raise him up in the last day. Now, how is one how is one going to know about the son and it, unless they a preacher tell him? You know. That's what the scripture said. Hold up. Um, yeah, that's uh, Romans, the 10th chapter. Uh, Romans 10 and 13 says, For whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. How then shall they call on him whom they have not believed? And how shall they uh, believe in him whom they have not heard? And how shall they hear without a preacher? <laughs> you see? And so this is our job. We've been given this word, and our and our job is to, to 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 give that word back out. You know. Now let me get uh First Corinthians, ten. Boy, <laughs> Israel mistakes. Um. This is uh, cause cause we are bit we've been made free, man. 
Scripture say, uh, "You should know the truth, and the truth shall make you free." But we're but we're free to the ways of this world, man. You know, we no longer subject to the ordinances and, and, and the ways of this world, but we are still servants to Yahweh Shah. Prisoners of Yahweh Shah. See, and that's the mindset that Paul had. You know, it says, 1 Corinthians 10 and 23, all things are lawful for me, but all things are not expedient. And all, uh, all things are lawful for me, but all things edify not. And that's important because we're doing this for the edification or the building up of the church. All right. The word expedient. This is the word expedient. Some Pharaoh is uh, G4851. It says to bear or bring together. To bear together or at the same time to carry with others. To collect or contribute in order to help. To help be profitable, be expedient. So that's what it means. You know? So is it edifying? Is it building? Is it a a adding to, uh, like I said earlier, you know, um, 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 is it helping raise up the elect? Building the church of Yahweh uh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai. All right. It says, verse 24, let no man seek his own, but every man another's wealth. You look up a comparison. All right, because that wealth is in parentheses, but uh, or whatever you call them. But it says the CSB version. It says no one is to seek his own good, but the good of the other person. You see, this new King uh, New King James version. It says let no one seek his own, but each one the other's well being. You see. For the ESV, let no one seek his own good, but the good of his neighbor. And that's that's the card, one of the golden uh, rules, the, the, the top commandments, man. Yeah. So let me jump down to the point that I wanted. This is um, verse 31, first Corinthians 10, verse 31. It says, whether therefore ye eat or drink. Or whatsoever ye do, do all to the glory of the Most High. And look, we seeking, uh, this is the glory of the Lord, man. Hey, when the church is up, hey, that's when you, <laughs> that's when the, the Lord is going to be glorified, man. And we, when we do our job, you know, in the name of the Lord. Like how Shah said, say, he's, he's glorified the Lord on the earth. Now, once the will of the Lord is complete on the planet earth, which what I just say with the will of the Lord was, you know, that's when the, the world is going to see the glory of the Lord. You know? So whatever we do, we're doing it for the glory of the Lord. It says, give none offense, neither to the Jews, nor to the Gentiles, nor to the church of the Most High. Even as I please all men in all things, not seeking mine own profit, but the profit of many, that they might be sick, that they may be slaves. And, um, you know, that just made me think of... Uh, you know, you got all these, you know, these other churches, you know, it's, 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 it's just their, their ego, man. You know, sometimes we got to take the low so that we're not offending, uh, giving offense in, in the church, you know, but they, the, but, but, but look what's happening. You got, uh, these camps fighting each other and then you got vocab Malone and all these demons, uh, uh, uh who else? Sarnetta and them, you know, now they speaking about it saying, oh, now y'all look bad. The Israelites look bad. How is that uh, 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 making the Lord look look good, man? Seeking your own profit. And look at that word profit as well. Because this is what we do. So you can get a better understanding of the scriptures. Also, you know, like I did already. Look up the, the, the different Bible comparisons, man. Same thing. The word profit here. Was the word. Was the same word as expedient. Some Pharaoh. Okay. So he's saying he he's seeking not his own profit, but the profit of many that they might be saved. So let me get a comparison. Let 
This is the CSB. It says, just as I also try to please everyone and everything, not seeking my own benefit, but the benefit of many so that they may be saved. All right. And that's what this thing is about. We have become servants, you know, so that they may be saved. And when you really, you got to kind of understand how Paul, he offered himself an example, man, to his brethren, the uh, Philippi, the Corinth, all right? The call uh, the, uh, the, for imitation, man. You see? But to fully appreciate that, you got to understand his, his, his mindset, his, his obsession. You know, now, of course, uh, James 5, I believe it's 5 and 20, it talks about, um, what is it? Uh, let me get it before I forget. I'm not going to mess it up. I believe it's 5 and 20. Oh, yeah. It's talking about the cover and the multitude of sins because we are, <laughs> we definitely in this thing so that we can get a reward. All right. But. When you, you got to understand that this, uh, he said, this was also the same man that said that uh, he wished that he was accursed for Israel's sake, you know? But this is James 5 and 19, it says, brethren, if any of you do err from the truth and one convert him, let him know that he which converted the sinner from the error of his way shall save a soul from death and shall hide a multitude of sins. All right, but we save it. So now, all we also uh, hide in a multitude of sins, but we saving the soul from death, man. You know. Now, oh, damn! See, my previous point just escaped me. Hmm. Oh yeah, there it go. Came back to me. Let me find it. All right, this is um, Romans 9. <laughs> Just to, so you can see the character and the mindset of uh, of Paul. Romans 9 and 1 says, I say the truth in Hamashiach, I lie not. My conscience also bearing me witness in the Holy Spirit that I have great heaviness and continual sorrow in my heart. For I could wish that myself were accursed from Hamashiach for my brethren, my kinsmen, according to the flesh. All right. You wish that all Israel could be saved. You see? So that was his mindset. And also, um, let me get this. Col uh, col shit. <laughs> Colossians. Let me get this real quick. Um, one and... Uh, I'm going to start at um, 24. It says, hold up. Yeah, I'm going to start at 24. It says, who now rejoice in my sufferings for you and fill, and fill up that which is behind of the afflictions of my shock in my flesh for his body's sake, which is the church. Whereof I am made a minister according to the dispensation of the Most High, which is given to me for you to fulfill the word of the Most High. So we was given this word, all right, for, 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 the, for the next man <laughs> to fulfill the word, all right, of the Most High. It says, even the mystery which have been hid from the ages and from generations, but now is made manifest to his saints, to whom... The Most High would make known what is the riches of the glory of this mystery among the Gentiles, which is Hamashiach in you, the hope of glory, whom we preach, warning every man and teaching every man in all wisdom that we may present every man perfect in Hamashiach Yahushua, whereunto I also labor, striving according to his working, which worketh in me mightily. So he want to present every man perfect in Hamashiach Yahushua. That's what that is what we want to do. You know, that that and that was Paul's desire. 
And he also, uh, he wanted spiritual growth for all men. I believe that's in the next chapter. Let me just see. Now we was talking about edifying, right? And benefit. This Colossians 2, when you go into the um when you go into in the blue letter, they got the uh like the the, the, the um, titles for the chapters. It says, You are built up in Hamashiach. Alright? And this is what we want, this is what we desire, and this is what we're supposed to do. This is a part of our job description, alright? It says, For I would that ye knew what great com conflict I have for you. And for them at Lacedonia or Laodicea. And for as many as have not seen my face in the flesh, that their hearts might be comforted being knit together in love and unto all riches of the full assurance of understanding to the acknowledgement of the mystery of the Most High and of the Father and of Hamashiach, in whom are hid all treasures of wisdom and knowledge. And this I say, lest any man should beguile you with enticing words, for though I be absent in the flesh, yet I am with you in the spirit, joying and beholding your order <laughs> and steadfastness of your faith in Hamashiach. As ye have therefore received Hamashiach Yahweh the Lord, so walk ye in him, rooted and built up in him, and established in the faith, as ye have been taught, abounding therein and thanksgiving. So he said that great conflict that he had, man. Is that they be rooted and grounded up and built up in his faith. See what that word. Um, go back. But ultimately, all of this is, is, is prompted by, you know, the examples that we've seen in our Lord. You know? Now, this is one that I had written down. Um. Let me go to it. Galatians 2 and verse 20. It says, I am crucified with Hamashiach. Nevertheless, I live. Yet not I, but Hamashiach liveth in me and the life which I now live in the flesh. I live by the faith of the son of the Most High who loved me and gave himself for me. All right. So Yahweh his whole mission, he sacrificed for others, you know. For the profit or benefit of others. That they may be saved. You know. And we ought to be doing the same. You see. That was another one. Yep. Romans the 15th chapter. Now the title. Or the headings for that one. It says self denial on behalf of others. So right to it. Right on topic. Right. It says we then that are strong ought to bear the infirmities of the weak and to, not to please ourselves. Let every one of us please his neighbor for his good to edification. It says even. Uh, uh, no, for even Hamashiach pleased not himself, but it is written the reproaches of them that reproach thee is fell on me. Okay, so even as a out there, we're doing what he did, man. You know, and there's that word edification again in the second verse. And this one says, um, it was a different word. Strong's G 3619. Yeah, it says the act of building up, building up, metaphor, edifying, edification, the act of one. Who promotes another's growth in Christian wisdom, piety, happiness, holiness. All right. Now, what's that? So this is what it means to deny yourself and, 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 and for others, man. This is Matthew 20 and 27. It says, and whosoever will be chief among you, let him be your servant. Even as the son of man came not. To be ministered into, but to minister and to give his life as a ransom for many. And I always, and you know, I tell brothers, man, you know, you can, it's, it's, it's easier to die, you know, for someone. But to live for someone and continue to suffer for, for them is, is something else, man. 
Now, and that's not to be compared to what the sacrifice Yahweh Shah made, because that's not what I'm saying. But you got a lot of people that said that they would die for someone, you know. And and and. But but, uh, for instance, I just seen uh, someone that that committed suicide, <laughs> but he had little kids, man, because he was in pain. He didn't want to feel it no more. But you gotta, you gotta, you gonna have to bear that 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 pain. You know, and, and continue on. You know, give up your own uh, desires and how you feel for, for the benefit of others, man. You know, and in the end, it's going to profit us all. You see? But even if you, it says, even I'm as chief among you, let him be a servant, man. So we ought to be servants. You know? Um, I got one more script written. This is uh, Galatians 5 and 13. It says, For brethren, ye have been called unto liberty, only use not liberty for an occasion to the flesh, but by love serve one another. For all the law is fulfilled in one word, even in this, thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. And this is, this is love, man. The passing of knowledge. You know, so that they being built up. Alright, so, you know, the wisdom that we gaining is not so that we can be praised of of others, you know, but it's just for, uh, not seeking our own profit or our own, you know, a high office, you know. But it's just for the profit and the benefit of others, and that's why you you go so hard and you do the things that you do, you know. Um, let me see if I got anything else. Um. I think that's, uh, yeah, that's what I wanted, you know, I could have got more, but, you know, I think that was the point, and I <laughs> want to keep it a little short, so with that, Lord willing, that was edifying, until the next lesson, I want to give all praise, glory, and honor to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rakaakodash, and I want to say, till the next one, Shalom.